stupidity. Yeah. It's enough. It's enough? It's enough. Why? Why do you say that? Um, I think we've got enough stupidity in this room anyway right now, so I mean we can share it. Maybe they can come up 50% okay. of the time. Oh, that Being one. interesting, yeah. So introduce yourselves. I'm uh, Tommy Showstrom, and I play drums with stupidity. And how much stupidity are you? Uh, 78.5%, about. That works. <laughs> and, and, and you? Yeah, I'm PA, and uh, well, if you're the cash, I'm going to be the ride. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You know, I, love you. I do. Oh, what? You know that. Thank you. I wish I knew how to say it in <laughs> Swedish. Jag älskar dig. Jag älskar dig. Jag älskar dig. Don't even bother. Yes, Jag älskar dig. Jag älskar dig. Jag älskar dig. Jag älskar dig. Wow. So when did you get to New York, stupidity? When? When? Uh, is it? How about, uh, I would say. Uh, 24, 24 hours ago. Yeah. And what have you been doing for the last 24 hours? Drinking uh, beer! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as soon as you got off the plane, we, 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 we just came here from Manitoba because uh, Richard, oh, Richard Manitoba is a great friend of ours. <laughs> and uh, so we went there to his place and had some happy hour beer. Why not? I mean, it's a good introducing for, I mean, to come to New York and go to Manitoba. I, for me, it's, I mean, well, why, course, I things. Things. I mean, why complicate things? Just drink beer. So what kind of beer do you drink? Because he doesn't drink his beer, right? Who? He? Richard Manitoba. Yeah, he doesn't drink beer. I don't know what he drinks, but I... I he has a good <laughs> bar, though. I like his I like bar. It. He's had a great bar. happy hour. Yes. And Zoe's been around. She's, she comes... She's bartending, she's yeah. She's great. Hi, Zoe. Yes. And, and Richard Manitoba has really turned into a New York icon, basically. He really yeah. did. Uh, yeah, I mean, we love him. We love the dictators since a long time ago. And that's what music we grew up with. So, I mean, in Sweden from all the punk rock and stuff, which influences stupidity. So, I mean, he's an icon for us. That's so cool. So we came here 10 years ago. Uh, first time I came here, I went to Manitoba. So I was, you know, walking there, I was scared. I thought, this man would kill me. Aww, he's <laughs> not like no, that. No, he's a sweetheart. No, no, he's not, he's not I mean, bad. when you come, but you never met him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. of course, yeah. 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 Because yeah. dictators has a pretty hard image. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, but I mean, he's a fantastic person and he done so much for us and he's, he's great. We had a Swedish party there. Last year, like when we released our new album, and uh, he likes Swedish stuff like Swedish caviar, you know, salted fish. I can see that. that stuff. Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, he loves it. I mean, it was a great time. So. Because that's New Yorkers, we always go to the food. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Swedish meatballs. What about those? Yeah, that's good. But I mean, you're a bit. Fussy a bit because we don't want it. Some some of I'm Americans are really fast. They want to try. Oh no, it's salty. Oh, I'm not sure. It. But uh, some, it could be great. So you should be more. You know, maybe I want to try and see what's like. So what about what about what do you like to eat in New York? Uh, food. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the same thing as I did. I, I like. Uh, the, 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 my experience in my brain is like when I come to New York, I want to go to uh, have pizza, at John's John's Pizza at. Uh, Bleaker Street. Bleaker Street. No, I mean, that's, that's something else. I, oh. think, I think. But I mean, you got it all. Did you get pizza yet? Uh, last night when we came just from the flight, we had need to eat something. So that's, it's a pizza place where we stay at St. Mark's place, just in the hotel. So we went down and had, you know. It's so you're staying in the St. Mark's hotel? Yeah. Yeah, it's called Race Pizza, but it's not the right Race Pizza. No, it's a different one. Chelsea. It's like a yeah. billion rays around. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, but that one's not so bad. Yeah. It's, it's pretty good, right? It's, yeah. It's all right. You have a good place just around the corner, on Second Avenue. It's called Heroes. You've got fantastic slices. Good for you. you yeah. we got to talk to the foreigners yeah. to find the good pizza. I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some really good places. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so when are you playing? I know you've got like a triathlon going on oh, here do, with, do, with uh, Spanking Charlene. Yeah. You guys. Uh, we do tomorrow. We do Bauer Electric with the Flesh Tones, Steve Wynn, uh, Fermira. You always yeah. have clout. You guys play with really good yeah, bands. Yeah, Flesh Tones are great. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> great. Are, are, are you surprised? Not at no, all. Not at all. We expect that. I'm ninety percent stupidity. Yeah, I am I not surprised. I know. I know. I know. Exactly. <laughs> What'd you say? No. <laughs> 
flesh tone is, is such a great band, and I think, I mean, if they got their appreciation they should have, they should be huge, because it's fantastic live band, and they've gone off since 76 in New York, and they're still going, they're still fantastic. So, I mean, I don't know why they don't have more following in, 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 in the States. Yeah, but it's not only the flesh tones, it's the roll of the dice for everyone. It's, you right. know, I mean, what is the magic wand poof that but makes the, the, it the new, happen? The new thing I saw on TV just a few days ago, like, I mean, the new thing among kids, they go to a big stadium, they pay like a hundred dollars to get in, and then look at the guy playing records, the DJ. So what he does, if the guy is playing records, got head, headphones on, he plays records. He, he, but DJs hey, are really yeah. in right now. I know, I know. And it's, it's, like, it's, it's kind of weird, I mean, to pay that amount of money to get in to see some guy playing records. Because there's celebrity DJs records, you know? now. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's, it's, it's weird. It is weird, but yeah. you know. But it's a new thing, I mean, we're too old to understand. So. Exactly. So and weird. you don't know what their minds are going on at the time. Yeah. You don't know what their... Uh, I, mean, yeah. I mean, it's... it's it's what's going to happen. Time is always changing. That's what it's something you talked about in other interviews. It will always happen. You can't stop it because I mean, that's what we do. In, you know, when we're dead, something else would happen, and we can't stop it. So. And then you might not realize how huge stupidity is, and the flesh tones too. No, maybe, but I mean, it, it, <laughs> it, it, it's something that's always happening. Like we, we've been in New York a couple of times now playing, and then you're getting attached to New York, and you so. Why they're tearing down this house? It was a beautiful house. They're tearing it down, and you got like, you know, get feelings for a city, I and mean, that's pretty, pretty interesting. When you come to another country, you know, cross the ocean, and then you see, I love that house. Why did they tear it down? And you're getting those kind of feelings. Then you, I mean, then you understand how the people feel who lives in the city you get really angry if they tear down because East Village here is changing. So that bothers you? Yeah, like uh, the Lakeside Lounge, whether where Spanking Charlie was yeah. playing, and they, they tore it down, or they, or they closed it down. And maybe, I don't know what's going to happen there, but it's probably going to be something. Probably NYU or something. Yeah, or, exactly. Or, or, or Dwayne Reed. Yeah. And, and that makes me sad, even, even though I'm, you know, far away in Stockholm. I mean, it makes me sad, because it, it is, it's sad. Yeah, yeah. Do you have Dunkin' Donuts in Stockholm? No. <laughs> Because we could send one out to you, a franchise. Yeah, yeah. Do, you have, like, uh, do you have Dwayne Reed over there? Uh, no. No. Do you have Boots Chemist? One. Do you do? Yeah, I mean, in fact, we have one Boots Chemist, yeah. Pretty yeah. really close to where I live. But it's probably going to close down. No one goes there. Oh, they don't? No. They have 7-Eleven? They have 7-Eleven? Yeah. Those are really popping up everywhere. Yeah, it's those scary. are those I used dangerous. to like them when they weren't here because then it was like a novelty and I would have so much fun making coffee there. Now it's like, who needs it? It's too much. Overkill ruins it. I can tell you a funny thing. When the 7 Eleven came to Sweden, they took it very seriously and the shops were open from 7 to 11. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. Well, I have to say, Wednesday this year is a 7 Eleven, so I'm kind of happy about that because we'll have a show on 7 Eleven. Yeah. Maybe we'll. You know. <laughs> anyway, stupidity. What's your website? We have your other friends. We want to bring them all on, it's and then maybe stupid, we'll have you all on. Stupidity.se. Yeah. What's the SE? Swedish. Sweet. Yeah. SE was sweet. We tried to get calm, but it was already taken by some. Some whatever, stupid person. Somebody who's like a something. something so, do you have any there. skeletons you want to share from the closet? Oh, shit, you want to have some you know, vanilla milkshake? You no. Know, you want to have skeletons? Do you have one each? Yeah. Okay. Before I share it, we, we, we have to mention these uh, the shows. Yeah. We're just talking too much. But they'll talk too. No, but he's talking too much. The uh, the shows with Spanking Charlene and Electric Mass, these fantastic bands. Yes. Um, yes. Next Friday, the 29th, at uh, the Brighton Bar in Long Jersey. Branch. Long Branch, New Jersey. New That's the first Jersey. show. And the second show is in mm -hmm. Ding Dong Lounge at Yay. which street? It's in Harlem. 105. 105. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Harlem. Uh, it's Harlem, almost? Harlem. Mm, South Harlem. Oh, no, Spanish Harlem. Morning. Swedish Harlem. El Barrio. <laughs> Barrio. Uh, Frankie yeah. Wood Harlem. Yeah, 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 Frankie Wood Harlem. And, uh, I mean, that's next Saturday. And this uh, stupidity, spanking trolley in electric mess, could it be better? I mean, that must be something to go and see. That's Even awesome. for you. Yeah. I, but, you know, you, do you have a ride to Long Branch? I mean, that's kind of far. Long Branch. Long Branch is New Jersey, isn't it's, it? It's closer than Sweden, though. Yes, <laughs> this is true. It's the, the beach, drink. too. It's yeah. very nice. Yeah. yeah, are you going to go to the beach? Uh, yeah, I bought some sometimes, so maybe I will go down there. Yeah, let's put it on. It's a very nice beach in Long Branch. Yeah. It is, yeah, it is. So you're going to 
Let's get a little culture. Yeah. Maybe the, that's the, where the boss goes to have a song time. Okay. Which boss? Bruce. Bruce. Oh, he goes to Asbury Park, I think. But really? you never know. Maybe now he goes to Long Road. <laughs> you should tell him you're playing. Yeah. Maybe. But he's on touring in, in Europe. And uh, with our other, you know, and Spanking Charlene's nice friend, yeah. Stephen. Yeah, well. we're going to talk to them in a minute. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that was a good segue. Any last shout out? Oh, wait. Did you give a skeleton? Well, you asked me a year ago, and I couldn't think of anything, but now you mentioned Cash Should Arrive, and uh, this means I just suddenly remember the summer of, I think it was like 68. Okay. Uh, my brother gave me, actually, gave me Cash Should Arrive as a birthday gift, so I read it, and I was like 12 years old. Right, perfect age. Now, when you're 12 years old, you start getting interested in tutorials. Yes. Now, this is going to be embarrassing. Anyway, this summer... For who, you? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> get a double shot. Anyway, I had this friend who had this beach house out in Stockholm Archipelago. It's beautiful archipelago, you know. It had this landing. And every day my friend and I went down to take a swim. And we were all, always alone. Nobody was there. And suddenly we came down and there were two girls, maybe 14, 15, 16 years old. Gorgeous girls. And when you're 12 and you're a boy, I mean, yeah. And I just had bought this really, really, I thought was cool, pink paisley pattern Bermuda <laughs> shorts. Really tight, and I was skiing, I had a long hair, I just read Cash and Arrive, I thought it was really, really cool. And we saw those girls and said, what are we going to do, what are we going to do? Just, just, just dive in, you know, dive as cool as we can into the water, you know, and impress the girls, you know. And so we did, and I didn't realize that those Bermuda shorts were not made for to be used in water. Uh, so suddenly they became like four or five sizes bigger in a split second. So I died down, and I could feel the Bermuda short just <laughs> like a sponge. Sliding down. <laughs> and I came up, and I saw the two girls just looking at me, and you know, the water was pretty cold. You know, like what it is, yeah, stupidity. yeah, yeah. So, there you were your name, freezing like hell, and almost like you know, like, you you know like, and so on and so forth. That's my that's skeleton for today. All right, right, well, that was, yeah. oh, that was a good time. story. That yeah. sounds good. Yeah. So, thank you always for visiting me, stupidity. We got to get spanking Charlene and the electric mess on as well, so they can plug your shows too. Thank you, and uh, thank you. Nice to be on the show. I thank mean, it's, you. Uh, it's nice to have you, Pete. You're doing a very good thing. Oh, thank you so much, Tom. This was good. Good, enjoy. All right, we'll be right back. Be right back. Charlene. Stay tuned.